Hi, Peggy from Countryside here. Today we're going to talk about sensitive plants. Sensitive, sensitive plants originated in South and Central America, and there they are a perennial bush. Um, but here they're a really, really great houseplant. The reason they're called sensitive plants is they react to touch or motion or water. So when you touch them, their leaves curl up and the plant almost looks like it's dead. While that's really fun to do every once in a while, it's not a good habit to get into touching your plant all the time so it does curl up. That is like a stress mechanism and it's gonna put all its energy in being stressed out all the time rather than turning into a big, beautiful plant. These plants like a bright area. So it'd be a south window or a west window would be a great place for them. As far as moisture goes, they like to be on the moist side, but not soggy. So you wanna let the top layer dry out some and then give them a good thorough watering. They could also benefit from a pebble tray or a mister because they do like humid conditions. Uh, fertilizer, you want a high potassium fertilizer at half strength. Fertilize them once a month during the growing season, which is April through October. It would also benefit if you keep them pruned back because you don't want your plant to get real leggy or anything. So if you keep them trimmed back, they will be a nice bushy pretty plant. They also get nice little fluffy flowers on them. They are toxic to both humans and pets if you ingest them. So right now at Countryside, we have our own homegrown sensitive plants. They're in four inch pots. So why don't you come in and check them out and take one home with you. I'll see you in the greenhouse.